Coogan Cassius, IFL TV here in Belfast at the Odyssey. This is a post-fight interview with uh, Shane McGuigan. Carl Frampton, second round KO of Hugo Cazares. Um, just talk about what you thought of the, the actual count situation that Hugo seemed to have a problem with in this press conference when he was speaking to us. What did you make of it? Yeah, well, uh, as we were just talking about just then, he, he, the referee was showing him the hands, showing him the signals, and he looked across at um, he looked across the car, gave him a little wink, and was like, "You know, you've done me there. I'm, I'm happy where I am." The referee went, "Yo, know, ten, you're out," and it, and then he got up and complained. You know, it was it was only until he said you're out, and then gave him a little hug, said, "Look, well done." Mm. It was when he started complaining. So I I, I just think it was more pride rather than anything, to be honest. Um, I mean, regardless of that situation, take nothing away from obviously, yeah. you know, what happened in the fight, the uh, beautiful left hook from Frampton that shows yeah. that power is, and you said in the press conference that, you know, his power is getting better. Yeah, his power is definitely getting better. He's, he's, you know, he's getting stronger with each camp, he's lifting heavier weights. A lot of the time they can be really strong in the weight room and not, and not transfer it across, but because he's so relaxed, he's, he's such a powerful guy. You know, he, he can, he can, he can take what he's doing in the weight room and put it into his boxing and, and um, you know he's, he's getting better as well he's, he's, his time is getting better he's more relaxed in this cat in this change room he wasn't wasn't nervous at all like normally he gets a little bit of nerves and starts getting serious like, just, we, we were so relaxed we knew the job was going what we were going to do the job at hand mm. um, for the last 18 months two years you know Carl's been talked about you know potential world fight, uh, uh, world titles you know yeah. with different routes and that but now it's, it's set in stone he's mandatory for the WBC title yeah. this will happen um, is it a bit of a risk trying to get him out before that uh, Shane? yeah I mean you can you can say that that's a good point point. Um, it might be a risk yeah especially you know in America you can you can get a, a tough journey when you can labor through it but I, I think Carl really is he's a class above above the rest at the moment and he and, you know whoever we get him you know, he'll, he'll pull through and look impressive, but we want we want Santa Cruz next. We really want him next, and you know if he's if he's game, if he's keen to come back to over to Belfast, or we'll go there. We don't mind. I, I'm convinced he's going to win. I think he's going to knock him out. You know, there's this talk of loads of, of big fights down the line, but we've got uh, Santa Cruz firmly in our sights. Mm. I mean, I, was, I mean, I interviewed Santa Cruz uh, more or less this time last year, and he was. Well aware of Carl Frampton then, I interviewed yeah, again yeah. a couple of months ago yeah, yeah. and again he was, he was very aware of yeah. uh, Carl Frampton so now I'm sure he'll take more note of you know, the whole Carl Frampton thing. Yeah. Um, Tris Dixon mentioned the comment in there that he'd seen something from Gary Hyde regarding Rigondo. Yeah, yeah. Is that something that you would entertain that idea? It's always something that we can entertain but I think at the moment you know, I've, I've our sights are firmly with uh, Leo Santa Cruz. You know, Rigondo, take nothing away from him. He's a fantastic fighter. He's the best in the division at the moment. He's proven in the amateurs and in the pros. I don't think Carl's ready for him quite yet. I think if we put him in now, he'd, he'd have a very good chance that you know he, he could beat him still. But I wanted to, I wanted to win a world title. What, what's, what's the difference? You know, if we, if we get that world title, go in. And have a unification with with Rigondo. That's that's what that's where the money is, and that's where the big fights are. And we'll get more recognition once we've won a world title. So, so you know, our, uh, that's our ambition. Hmm. So, um, Carl with a WBC strap, for example, um, is a fight with Scott Quigg something that's even on your radar, Shane, as as his trainer? Yeah, uh, it's always because it's such a massive fight. You know, I think. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of slagging going on between both camps and stuff, but you know we we think Scott Quigg's a nice lad, and you know he's and and, and he's a good fighter, and he he put up a good fight against uh, Carl Frampton. I think Carl will beat him, um, but you know there's still that 50-50 sort of. I mean now that Carl's doing, you know, having these performances, you know I think you know the, the public are going to be more in Carl's favour, but there's still that that question mark over you know Scott Quigg. He's a good puncher. He's a, he's a good fighter. And, and you know, I think it would it would be an entertaining fight, but it's not on our radar quite yet. Unless Santa Cruz doesn't want to fight, then we can always entertain it. But once again, same as the Rigondeaux situation. Why don't we win a world title? Beats Leo Santa Cruz, go down that prestigious belt with the WBC. Once we got that, then we've got so many options. Options, yeah, yeah. absolutely. Um, all right, Shane. Well, listen. Uh, thanks for everything this weekend. Cheers, mate. Been a great show in Belfast. And thanks for coming over. We'll have to get you back on the pads. <laughs> <laughs> I'm terrible, Shane. I'm absolutely terrible. Um, yeah, like I said, great show tonight. It's been some uh, good performance from Jamie Conlon and. Yeah, I uh, did get a chance to see it, and uh, Orman apparently looked very impressive, and so did O'Kane. So 
once I get back, I'll, I'll watch it on the re record. On Box Nation, yeah. yeah. All right, thanks for talking to us, and uh, we'll speak to you soon. Cheers, big man. Thank you very much. Thanks.